Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful week thus far. Today, huge, huge news for Bitcoin and for XRP, which we'll cover in this video, but also huge news, personal news, the stimulus check came in today. Boom, boom, boom. I just got my stimulus check. I uploaded it to Cash App and it instantly transferred it over to Bitcoin. So I just bought an extra $600 worth of Bitcoin. Thank you, the government. <laughs> so I hope you guys are out there having a good time. Let's take a look at some news with Bitcoin and XRP. All right, so yeah, man, seriously today, it was really exciting because I was uh, kind of looking through Twitter and stuff and checking out some stuff about crypto and the news and things and something popped through that they had agreed to send out the stimulus checks could be here next week or something. So I got a notification, boom, your check is in the account. So that was really exciting. And I literally, as soon as I got it, I went straight to Cash App and turned it all into Bitcoin. In fact, here, let me take a look and we'll see what did I get it in at because I wanted to get it in as soon as possible. As we know, uh, we're on the climb to 30K. 36,000 is kind of where I see it going. So if we look at the last transaction today, I got in at 28,839. So keep track of that if you wanna know. So I bought $600 of the Bitcoin at 28,839. So <clears throat> really stoked on that. But Bitcoin price inches closer to 30,000 with new all-time highs. And since we know it's going up there, I mean, what do I have to lose, right? 600 bucks, if it goes to 30 and it starts to come down, we can just sell it and we still made money off of that investment. So a swift return to form for Bitcoin sparks 8% daily gains and gives no hint of a deeper reversal under 30,000. By the way, this is not financial advice. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing with uh, my side of things. So hope you guys are checking this out. Hope you guys are in Bitcoin. If you're not, you need to get some Bitcoin and you can go to askaboutbitcoin.com askaboutbitcoin.com and you can get started there if you would like. So Bitcoin returned to hitting record on December 30th after a fresh rebound took it above the 28,400 all-time high. So it's a little crazy, I know, because I bought above the all-time high, but it's gonna be a more all-time high is what I'm hoping for. So uh, BTC price nails fresh all-time high. Data from Cointelegraph Markets and TradingView showed BTC USD tackle its existing historic top turning trading on, during trading on Wednesday. In a strong resurgence overnight, Bitcoin confirmed that it had no time for bears after briefly dipping as low as 25,830 over the past 24 hours. Daily gains were 7.5% at press time at 28,560. So let's take a look here at this chart. All right, so as you can see here on this chart, this is the 60 minute chart, meaning every one of these candles equals one hour. And as you can see, when they printed this article, it was at 28,490. It has gone up by $400 at this point. And then this is the real time trading view account. This is my account here. So as you guys can see, we are at 28,700. So we're down a hundred from where I bought in at, but that is totally fine. It's probably gonna come back down to this moving average here, which is our five moving average and bounce up. If not, it'll come down to the 13 and continue up because it is still in an uptrend as you can see with that. So once these cross over, if this five EMA crosses over that 15 and starts to head down, then it may be going for a correction or sometimes it just does a little dip there. So I just wanted to show you that where it is live right now. So it shows here BTC USD one hour candle chart from Bitstamp source is trading view, which we, sh uh, we just went over that a little bit more in detail in real life. The move brings Bitcoin even closer to ceiling $30,000 as a new psychological level before the end of the year, something that seemed all but impossible just one week ago. As Cointelegraph reported, however, analysts still believe that a reversal could take large, largest cryptocurrency down to existing support level of 19,500. So we are obviously going to keep our eyes peeled for that transition. So um, 
a lot of a lot of people are really excited right now about all these all-time highs you know a lot of people are buying in right now which is totally fine which you know you, you saw i just did my goal though is to sell at the top because there is going to be a top of a, a recent top and it is going to correct and then we'll rebuy with our profits and proceeds there so some people are just going to hold through it which is totally fine on Tuesday, Cointelegraph Markets analyst Michael Von de Pop nonetheless highlighted 27,500 as the critical area to break in order to pave the way for all time highs. All right, so as far as the Bitcoin news there, we're going to get into XRP next. How are you feeling? What, are you bullish on Bitcoin still? Are you waiting to sell? Comment down below of I'm selling at the top or I'm holding at the top. Let me know what you guys think out there as far as your opinion on the crypto. Now let's go ahead and jump over to the XRP news. Grayscale reportedly dumps massive stakes in XRP and XLM. The digital asset manager has reduced its holdings of both cryptocurrencies significantly. Grayscale Investments, the world's largest digital asset manager, has reportedly dumped a significant portion of its XRP and XLM holdings. Data from Byte, the, a cryptocurrency futures trading platform, revealed that Grayscale's XRP holdings declined by more than $9.18 million on December 29th, bringing its total position to 26.45 million XRP, worth about 5.7 million at <clears throat> press time. On the same day, Grayscale reportedly liquidated over 9.74 million Stellar coins Stellar Lumens or XLM bringing its total holdings to 9.19 million XLM or 1.27 million at today's price. Grayscale's assets currently sit at $19.26 billion with Bitcoin making up 87% of that total. Grayscale's apparent fire sale of XRP came a week after the US Securities and Exchange Commission or SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple Labs. The news triggered a wave of delistings from major exchanges, including Coinbase and Bittrex, as XRP's price plunged 60%. Ripple has vowed to fight back against SEC's charges and has urged market participants not to reach any conclusions about XRP alleged security status until they hear the side of its story. With all the regulatory scrutiny surrounding Ripple, it's not difficult to see why Grayscale may be distancing itself from the cryptocurrency. It isn't entirely clear, however, why the fund manager reduced its exposure to XLM at the same time. The moves could be temporary reallocation strategy as evidenced by recent data showing that Grayscale actually increased its position in XRP and XLM following their recent price dumps. Stellar was co-founded by Jed McCaleb, a software developer who was part of Ripple's founding team before departing the project in 2014. As of December 9th, McCaleb's public XRP wallet held over 251 million XRP. He has reportedly sold hundreds of millions of dollars worth of XRP since early 2016. All right, so here you can see the XRP on the one hour chart from the drop. It hit that 17 cent low, which we talked about on the previous video. If you guys wanna check that out, you can click on my channel, subscribe, and you can see the previous videos as well. Uh, it went up and ranged up to 24 cents, and now it's consolidating right here in this 20 to 22 cent range. So we're gonna see where that goes. I'm still bullish on XRP. I'm holding my holdings. I know that a lot of the, the exchanges are going to be removing them, but you can still hold your coin. And also the Spark token is gonna be coming out. We know that the snapshot happened, so that's gonna be released as well. Um, and that all happened before the news of the delisting. So it was kind of really exciting because you were going to be holding XRP on the climb and you were also getting Spark token. And then all of a sudden bad news comes. So um, I'm, I'm a firm believer that it's gonna survive. It's a great company, it's a great product. And then XRP, which is not affiliated with Ripple itself, is also a great product and a great token to hold uh, in your if you've enjoyed this part of it going over all of the analysis and everything don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel plus if you want to learn how to read these charts see what i'm seeing understand the knowledge i highly recommend you get started with epic trading they are the ones that have taught me everything about trading crypto trading forex trading stocks everything that i've known so far is from the school here to become an epic scholar just reach out to me 
All you have to do is go to winwithryan.com. You can sign up for our newsletter and that will give you information also about the Epic Trading University and becoming a scholar. When you get into the program, you get the full university, which has tons and tons of curriculum, has the best trading educators out there in the market right now. Epic Trade Alerts, they'll let you know when is a good time to put in a trade, when is a, a bad time to put in a trade so you don't do the wrong thing. Live trading sessions, you can watch live professional traders, six, seven figure traders do real live trades in front of you, see why they're actually making trades and they teach you how to make trades as well. Fundamental analysis, just like the analysis you got here, but on all of the cryptocurrencies, on all of the different uh, foreign exchange markets as well. Market forecasts every Sunday and also member support. So if you ever have any questions, you can reach out and they're there to help. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Sign up for the newsletter, winwithryan.com. Hope you guys love it. Talk to you later. Currency. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah.